Hello everyone, it's 4th of March today and it's time to get on with sowing some more seeds. Now, there have been a lot of videos gone before where people are saying sow seeds, don't sow seeds. And it's all about getting the right seeds sown at the right time of year. And being able to judge when's the best time to sow and how to sow them. And that's what I try to do in my videos is to show you how how I sow, when I sow, and more importantly, I try to give you the reasons why I'm sowing at that particular time of the year. Because I sow all year round, I sow and grow plants all year round, and it works for me. Because over the years, over the decades if you like, I've developed my own way of growing things, and it's what works for me. So I'm gonna give you a couple of highlights first of stuff that I have have sown presently uh, and then we'll move on to sowing some seeds. So up here on my hanging shelf I've got plenty of plants and all of these were sown during the colder period of this year i.e. they were all sown um, sort of November, December, January, February so through the cold months but as you can see they're all growing and they're all growing well. I've got mixes of brassicas here. These were sown at the end of November, survived through a really cold spell, and they're now growing, and we'll be able to eat these and stir fry starting this week, along with the kale that I've got here and kale I've got outside as well. These um, lettuce mixes here were sown in December, January, and February. They're very close to being eaten now. Uh, you can see the progression in growth there. And once these brassicas are gone, we'll start eating those as well. These onions were sown just on a cool windowsill in the house. They started off and germinated back on Boxing Day. And they're the only onions I grow this year. I grow more shallots now than onions. The same with these cauliflower, again, cold windowsill in the house, cool windowsill, and they're grown. These spring onions that are now popping up in here, all they've done is been sown, put on the shelf here in this polytunnel, and they've grown. These sweet peas, flowers, um, they were germinated in my kitchen. Once they started to grow, they were fetched down here and they're growing away. Similar with these broad beans and these radishes, but they're all growing here in cooler weather. Three weeks ago, outside, outside over there at the front, I sowed these on video and this is three weeks ago and you can see they're all germinating now and will carry on growing on and they'll get thinned out. In this next week I will sow another four buckets to go there and then three weeks after that another four buckets to go there. And they will all, by the time these first ones are harvesting, I will have sown the ones outside my main crop and I should get a nice continuation through the buckets to the crops outside. Now I'm going to sow some seeds here now and all I've done is marked a line and with me homegrown dibber just draw a drill along. I've got four drills there now. Now there's no point in me saying go ahead and sow tomatoes now. It's too early. It's not warm enough for them. So I'm sowing, all I've done so far, all those seeds up there, they're all fairly hardy, fairly strong plants. And these are not much different. These are brassicas, but these need really a soil temperature of five degrees and above. More ideal is sort of seven, eight, nine, ten 10 degrees, but you can sow them in the much cooler weather. So get them on, get them started and you're spreading you're spreading your sowing a bit. You're making life easier for yourself. When it comes to sowing my tomatoes, it means I haven't got all these to sow. They're already sown. And I can do this under protection, which is here in my polytunnel. And if you haven't got a polytunnel, you can use a little cloche, sow your seeds in the soil outside, prepare your ground like I have, like I have here. Uh, sow your seeds and then cover them in a cloche and it's exactly the same conditions as I've got here in my polytunnel and all I'm going to do is just sow some seeds in these drills and I'll just keep my eye on them and let them get on with it. 
This is a chard and I'm only sowing half a row like that for those. And this is the first sowing of the year for the, for the chard. I'll do two, maybe three throughout the year to spread the harvest. I want to have them all year round. Then I've got some broccoli here. I should be harvesting this into the summer, maybe the autumn. But again, just another half row. And then just flick the soil back over them and water them. This bed has been raked and watered two or three times in the last two or three days. And I've got two different types of cauliflower. This one is igloo. I've already got some collies up there growing as I just showed you a minute ago. But cauliflower can be fickle as to when it when it grows and heads up. So I, I like to have plenty around and in the ground. And this one is just an all year round cauliflower. There we go. And again, just flick the soil, water them. Job's done. What's next? What have we got next? Brussels sprouts. Not too early to get sprouts on yet. Might as well get them going. You can have a couple of sowings if you want to. Sow some now and sow some in five or six weeks time if you wish. And this last one is one of my favourite cabbages, it's a golden acre and as I call it, it's my coleslaw cabbage for the, for the summer. Lovely sort of green to white colour, brilliant for coleslaw. Now, when I was much younger, when I was gardening with my granddad, we used to have nursery beds outside, normally just outside your greenhouse, where you would do this and either cover them in plastic or not, or glass as it was then. And we always sowed our leeks in a nursery bed. Over recent years, I've done more and more with them, sowing them into modules or into pots even, which I'll, I will still do with these leek seeds. These are Musselburgh, but I'm gonna sow them in here because I haven't sown them this way for a number of years. And I thought I'll just give them another go, trying that. And whilst we're on it, as an onion, I'm gonna go with these. These are the Ishikura. So I'll be looking to transplant these, as I will be all of these, I'll be looking to transplant them elsewhere in the garden. But these are the Ishikura, and they're what I grow as spring onions. They're a bunching onion. And I'll just pull these out in clumps and then go and plant them out. So that's about as easy as it gets for sowing seeds. And it means I don't have to do them all together with all the other seeds that I need to sow or grow. And it's a weight off my mind. It's less to do later on. Champion. Now, I've sown all those knowing full well that tomorrow we're going down to minus five and the day after, apparently. That's forecast. We've got this cold spell coming, but they'll come to no harm in there because what's going to happen over the next two or three days is the seed coats on those seeds will very gradually moisten before the seed actually germinates. And by the time that's ready to happen, the soil temperature will have raised in here again. That cold spell will have passed us by and will be in good stead for these to grow on. So they'll come to absolutely no harm there. So that's the next stage done. Um, if you want to see the next stage, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below, let me know what you're sowing and be really interested to see how you're getting on in your part of the world. And uh, I'll see you very soon on the next one. But for now, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Tarana.